What's up YouTube, I'm Just Another Guy and welcome back to the Welsh Way here with Aberwith Swift Town. Champions League third qualifying round for the first time in our history. Here we are against Olympiacos. Now I want to point out a few teams that we could have possibly played because it's the first time we've ever been here. We could have been drawn up against Celtic. Um, I think we could have been drawn up against Dynamo who we've played before and I wouldn't have minded that. Uh, we could have been drawn up against uh, Partizan. And I think there, were, there was another team. I'm um, leaning towards this guy, this team, but I'm not too sure. But something I was interested in looking at here, Rangers are back in the Champions League and they're a feeder club. They're a parent club to us, sorry, I should say. So it's interesting to see that the Scottish football rating has jumped up significantly and they've now got two champ Champions League places again since Rangers have re-entered the Premiership. So that was just an interesting point I thought I'd look at considering they came second place and they're in the Champions League. Obviously means something. But yeah, we've got an absolutely monumental task here against Olympiacos. If we can somehow muster up a clean sheet here, I'd be more than chuffed. 30,564 people are expected to be here. That That is incredible for us. I th what was it last season? Last year, I'm actually going to check. Last year we played up against like 30,000 or so. Yeah, against Lech. So this is going to be the second biggest crowd we've ever played in front of. So I think we're, we're definitely going to enjoy this, the players. This is the team we're going to go out with. So... We're playing our typical defend for your life formation because that's all we can really do in this game. So the team looks like followed. The White House in goal, McGuinness, Drake, Griffiths and Fraser in defence. Standard back five there for us. Defensive midfield, we've got Stewart and Hamilton Davis. I was considering playing uh, Simon, Simon, uh, Simon James there. I always want to call him Simon. Simon James and centre, uh, centre defence in mid, but I... I, I compared them both in the positions, in the defensive midfield, ball winning midfielder position, and I thought Hamilton Davis was a little bit more well adapted and well suited for the role, so he's come in there. Midfield is the same as last game, except of course Gun Gunter would be playing alongside another one, he's currently by himself, and Gavin Davis and Carrier are out on the left and right, and then Hamilton Davis, is, I mean David Hislop, sorry, is up front by himself. I was competing, I was considering putting James up front by himself, but I think David Hislop is a little bit more experienced. Maybe, maybe, you know, will cope with the pressure a little bit better, so he'll be better up front by himself. The bench has got Brown, Bland, Allen, Lloyd, James, Davis, and James on the bench. Allen will make his debut today if he features as well, so that'll be a hell of an achievement if he can come on at 16 years of age in front of a crowd of 30,000 people. So let's get straight into this. Uh, straight into this amazing match. So you'll be number 26. So you got they're playing a 4-4-2. This is great. I always say this when we have this formation. It is great to see a 4-4-2 because they are easily to easier to defend against. They're not exactly easy because the team is incredible, but they're easier to defend against. Let's have a look at their striker quickly. One of their strikers. <laughs> well, that, there's just a, there's an idea of who we're up against. Let's have a look at his history. Where's he played for? I've seen his name before. Blackburn. That was it. But that, that's, that's just an indication of the type of quality of player we're going to be facing today. But let's see if we can, you know, do ourselves proud. I'm expecting to get knocked out, but I want us to try and do our best. Um, We should challenge the team to pick up where we left off. Go on then, see what you can say. Pretty good team talk, you know. <laughs> I take my half to the assistant manager. He, I was going to say, you know, good luck, no pressure, but he said can challenge them and they've reacted to it but straight away from kickoff in Greece they're all over us and at least we're gonna goal kick and maybe we can hold possession for a little bit that'd be lovely here we go we've actually got the ball it's David Hislop trying to break through but it's well intercepted but hang on David Hislop has got the ball one one with the keeper ah oh, good save that was a real chance there we've had the first click opportunity of the game and we've missed it I didn't sign my set P takers again as Drake is taking this set piece I'll let this highlight die out and we'll quickly uh, make these changes. I'll cut it. Actually, no, I won't cut it. We'll just quickly flick a couple of people on there. Because then, as we just sort this out beforehand, um, his slop can take the corners. Free kicks, Gunter. And there we go. We'll just do that quickly. I don't want Drake taking the set pieces. We don't exactly need our defenders out of position too much. Is that Zheng? Out wide, which this one in? No, couldn't get it into the box, so that's fine. But we had an opportunity there. David Hislop capitalising on a defensive mistake. Sadly, though, he just couldn't 
get it on target, couldn't get it past the keeper, he got it on target, but straight at him. You know, we've wasted opportunities like this before and they've ended up coming back to bite us in the arse. And so, uh, maybe if that was James, maybe he would have done that. As, ah, uh, they get their chance. Drake is beaten by Kalin Kalinkit. Klatanikic, whatever that guy's fucking name is. <laughs> it's not Klatanikic. But he's easily beaten by him. But, ah. Uh, we should have had the lead. We should have had the lead. 1-0 down, though. Against Olympiakos. Let's see if we can hold out till half-time and regroup and get the team talk in. As the ball's whipped in at the deep and it's blocked on the line, it looked like, by the keeper. <laughs> he didn't save it, he just sort of hit his leg. It's going to be whipped in back in by game. Cleared away by Fraser, got straight to an Olympiakos shirt and Griffiths finally puts the ball out of play. And there we go, half-time. They deserve their lead, yes. But we could have easily been 1-1. Come on, lads. You can still come out of a win tonight. Let's see what he does with Dearest. Maybe that's fine. Uh, let's continue out there like the same. I was thinking maybe I'll bring James on up front. But I won't make that change just yet. We'll like, uh, have a look at the 55th minute and then maybe bring James on. Good block on the line by whoever was on the post there. That was, you know, had to be there. It had to be a block. Otherwise, I think it was going in. Right, we'll make we'll make to look at we'll look to make a change now. We'll bring Lloyd on. We will bring James on as well. Make a double change. And I think I'll take Carrier off in a second if things continue. Gunter whips this one in, hits the bar. James, oh my god, oh my god, I'm going to be sick. That's an oh, that is a great opportunity. I'm going to go and make another change. I'm going to bring Davis on. I'll quickly put him as our set-piece taker because he's got very, very good set-pieces. Swap you two around. And swap you two around very quickly. Oh, man. James should have scored. That Both of our strikers have missed good opportunities. But we've got a chance here down the right. Gavin Davis with the shot. Oh, my God. The defender almost ran it in his own net. That is... And apparently that was a clear-cut opportunity from Davis in the first place. But, ah, oh, that is three clear-cut opportunities against the Lipiakovs. How many more do we want before we finally bury one? We could be 3-1 up if we'd taken all of them. I'd, I'd be happy with 1-1. One, one. <laughs> I'd be happy with an away goal. Oh, I could save by Whitehouse after it rebounded off the post. And the correct thing to do by Fraser there. Very nice thing to do. If in doubt, you just smash that ball straight out of play. Hit, hit Rosette if you can. Three minutes remain. Uh, I think it's going to end 1-0. Hopefully it'll end 1-0. We still get an opportunity then, but yeah, it does. We should have won, we should have won the game. And I'm surprised I said that. Let's see, we've really sympathised with the scene. But we should have won the game. Really, we should have. I think I'll start James next time, win James. And I think I'll start riding Davis as well. But I'll see you guys back in the next leg at the Scarlet. So I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, so we are back at the second leg. 6,170 people are turning up at the Scarlets to watch us against the Olympiakos. I think that is a record actually. Let me double double check that. Uh, history, records, attendance. His highest attendance. 5,000. So yeah, this is going to be our highest ever attendance to a game by us since I've taken over and I think probably in the club's history as well. Uh, something quickly I want to mention as well, we are currently in the process of a board takeover. One of our directors is trying to buy the major share in the club. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before because I don't know when this happened because this is being recorded before I actually record my end of season for this for the previous year. So I don't know when that, whether that occurred before or after them. But either way we are currently in, a, in, in the midst of a board takeover. I don't think it's going to change too much. Hopefully it won't change too much, you know, hopefully he won't cancel all our parent clubs and things like that. But, yeah, that's that's something, you know, we'll worry about when that happens, when it officially happens. Hopefully, I don't think he can sack me. I mean, I'm a favourite personnel at the club, so I don't really see that happening. I mean, I'm an icon at the club, so I'm not a favourite personnel, so I don't really see that sacking happening, happening. But, you never know with new owners. But he's coming from already in the squad, so in the club, you know, as a director, so I should be fine. But anyway, to the game against Olympiacos. We made a couple of changes 
from last time. We're going to play Ryden Davis on the left. We're going to play Win James up front. And we're going to play Gunter as a box to box midfielder support. But apart from that, it's an unchanged team, an unchanged bench. And let's go out there and see if we can do the club proud. Hang on, we need a captain. Um, it says Hamilton Davis, but I don't really. You know what? You know what? Fine, we'll give him a vice captaincy. And he can captain the team out today. So it is a massive game. We've got a few opportunities in the last match. I'm expecting a few more in this match. And I expect us to take one or two of them. Because we can... We were seriously able to try to beat this team. You know... If they get in the way goal, I think the game's done and dusted. I think the game is over. Because we'd have to score three goals. And I don't see that happening. I don't really see us scoring two. I know what I do you to avenge what happened in the last game. I'll go out there and express yourselves. There you go. That's a good team talk. But yeah, like... I don't. I struggle to see us scoring two here today, but with a you know a massive crowd, a massive supporting behind us, hopefully we can gain some sort of advantage, and hopefully we can keep things tight defensively, whilst nicking something going forward. And we're not doing too bad here. We're not, you know, we've got a little bit more possession than what I would expect so far. And we've got a highlight here is Gavin Davis McGuinness is tackled though and dispossessed quite high up the pitch. We've got it back though. That is fine. But no, we've thrown away possession. We've got it back again, though. Gunter, straight to James. Oh, it's been blocked. Oh, I was unlucky. And that's a clear opportunity. Again, missed. Ryden Davis will take this set piece. It's whipped in, trying to find Drake. Oh, my God. Stewart has scored. John Stewart, what a beast. What a pro. You know, he's hardly featured for us since signing. He's a great player, but I don't play him. I kind of regret doing that, but I kind of want to, I, I, I don't know, he's it's kind of like, he's a good player, but I've got other good players, but he's scored here today, he's given us a goal, 1-1 one, one on aggregate, that is fantastic, got to keep tight defensively still though, we don't want to throw this away right now, so there's a set piece, we've managed to block this one, and maybe we can create a counter-attack, Gunter tries finding James, which he doesn't, sadly the highlight finishes there, but, we've got a goal, and we've prevented them with a click opportunity, we've stopped them scoring, and it's 1-1 one, one on aggregate, and we're doing amazingly here, um, what should I say? I'm going to say this calmly. You still come out. We can still come out when there's a match tonight. Come on, lads. They all listen keenly. Hamilton Davis is motivated. The captain of the team today. We've got a goal here. And we should have scored, though, not way goal. We should have scored a few away goals. We could easily be in a winning position here. But we have to go and we have to focus on the game right now. And right now it's 1 1 on aggregate. And right now we need to keep tight defensively. And we can nick a goal later on in the match. We're going to make a change, though. We're going to bring Hamilton da David Hislop on. Hamilton Davis, David Hislop on. And we're going to bring Carrier on and play Davis on the right. So we can cut in and hopefully pop in a few shots. Time is a ticking and it looks like it's going to go into extra time. And it is. It's the end of 90 minutes. We've held out Olympiacos at home so far. Um, let's see what the assistant says. He is very good at doing team talks. I don't know what to do. We, I kind of want to make a change. And I feel we have to make a change here. I think we're going to bring Lloyd on. Even though he's not a ball in midfielder. I don't want a yellow card. And I don't want a tired player on the pitch. That's resulted in a goal scorer leaving the field of play in the 90 minutes. But the first half has flown by. End of the first half of extra time. Here we go in the second half. And it's a highlight showing kickoff. And let's see what's going to happen. Time is ticking. There's only six minutes left remaining of extra time. It'd be a real kick in the teeth if we would concede now, or anyone who was to concede now. Professional team surely should have the fitness advantage here. They've whipped the ball in. It's headed away. Only to a deep... Oh, oh my God. I don't, I don't even know what happened there, but the keeper somehow saved it anyway. Or there was a block or whatever. It was offside. didn't matter, but still, that was fantastic. The ball went flying away from the goal. And this is going to be penalty shootout to decide Aberystwyth Town, a semi-pro team from Wales, against Olympiacos, a professional team. That whatever, how many times consecutive winners of the Super League are in Greece? All right, Hislop first, Fraser second, Ryden Davis third, Drake fourth, Viv Gunter fifth. Carrier, 6th. Hamilton Davis. Actually, not Hamilton Davis. Hugh Griffiths, 7th. Lloyd, 8th. Hamilton Davis, ninth. Gary McGuinness, 10th. And Terry Whitehouse, 11th. 
Last time we were in the chat in, in a European competition in penalty shootouts, we had that amazingly long penalty shootouts. Let's hope Olympiacos though crack under a little bit of pressure today. Yeah, 27 shots, but our one on target went in. David Hislop scores, making it 1-1. Well done. We're taking second. I like taking second. It, it lets us know whether we have to score to win. Maybe the players won't enjoy the pressure though. 2-1, Olympiacos score. Fraser tech steps up next. Looks calm and collective. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Good penalty. Oh man, this is so tense. Gams, I think that his name is. I called him Game earlier. Whatever his name is, he scored. Gamma, I think it was actually Gamma. Ryden Davis with his chance to score from the spot. <sighs> Just about enough to beat the keeper. Terry Whitehouse, I've never seen him save a penalty. He goes the right way but can't save it. I've never seen my keeper save a penalty in FM. I've never seen a keeper save a penalty, I don't think. Drake scores. Well done. He's got good set pieces for a centre-back, this guy. Sosa scores, making it 5-4, which means we have to score here or we are out of the Champions League. Viv Gunter sends the keeper the wrong way. 5-5, five, five, sudden death. In we go. Traore. Ah, oh, keeper goes the right way, but he sellots it home. Who is in next? I don't remember. Carriers, the youngster. Oh, good penalty. Top corner. That's fantastic. Seventh takers now. Ah, keeper doesn't move. Seven six. Who's in next? Griffiths. Hugh Griffiths. Scores. Well done. Dance well. Dance wheel. Ah, keeper goes the right way, but can't save it. Eight seven. Lloyd. Scores! Well done, the youngster. See on Lloyd. Oh, they're all youngsters in our squad. Manuel. Does cool, calm man. 9 8. Penalty shootouts in this game are ridiculously long. Hamilton Davis, the captain today. Scores! Well done. No John Terry here. Olsen. Scores, slots this one home. Nine ten. McGuinness with a chance to score today, and he smashes that. That is a brilliant penalty. Alan Shearer like. Keepers now turn. Can he uh, scores? Beats the keeper, and now it's uh, last time. White House took a penalty. He missed and cost us the shootout. Here's his chance today. And scores, well done. 11-11 and around we go again. Ah, oh, not not fucking again, please not again. Diaz scores. 12-11 on a penalty shootout. This is fucking ridiculous again. David Hislop. It's top corner, fantastic penalty. Come on, White House, save this, save this. Ben Yosef scores. Oh, Alan Fraser slots this one home. Gamma scores as well. 14-13. Behind the Olympiacos fans as well. Right in front of them. Ryden Davis scores, sends the keeper the wrong way. Kalint Kalintkic, whatever his name is, scored in the first leg and he scores here today. Drake. Another fantastic penalty from Drake. Sosa. Keeper goes the right way but can't save it. Fucking hell, no keeper can save a penalty. No player misses penalties. This is wrong with FM. Viv Gunter scores. 
16, 16. Traore. Ah, oh, he pulls ref. He pulls his run up. That should be a retake. That is illegal. That is an illegal penalty there, and I refuse. Carrier, a good penalty though. Eighteenth penalty. Keeper saves! White House has saved it! Oh my god! We have a chance here. We have a chance to beat Olympiacos in the Champions League. Oh my god. Griffiths is gonna step up. Hugh Griffiths scores! We pull a 5 through to the Champions League! Oh my god! Get in there! We've beaten Olympiacos! We've beaten a professional team in the Champions League! We, we need to become a professional squad! Clearly, this tactic is very good for being defensive. Oh my god! Passionately, people writ us off today, mate, and you proved us all wrong. This is a great result. We are through in the Champions League. This is unbelievable. We have won on penalties. John Stewart has scored an amazing free, scored an amazing goal from a corner, and we've won on penalties. Oh my God, we won in the Scarlets. The Welsh champions were not expected to progress past the second qualifying phase, but they have progressed past the third qualifying phase. We overturn the first leg defeat to win. Let's talk. Hugh Griffiths got himself in backed pages by winning a dramatic penalty shootout. It must have been pretty nervous times to watch from you. From you, I hate penalty shootouts. They are incredibly nervous. Not many people have predicted the outcome of today's game. We all the way to penalties and got to win. He delighted with the result. This got down a memorable moment in the club. The fairy tales continue. Another superb win for your team. We delighted for both the for both the result and the progression of the conversation. It's a brilliant feeling. Everyone's worked so hard, and we've got the rewards right now. Bruno Gamma is a top-notch performance today. You know, no comment. I don't care about the other players. But look at that. We have progressed through. I don't even know when. When's, when is the draw? The draw is there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue forward. While you guys are still here, and we're going to have a look at this draw and see who we can possibly get. Look at that. That record attendance broken. Well, the highest, second highest was 5,499, 6,173, and a new gate receipt was received. Financially, we are amazing right now. We're a million in the positive. We have made a lot of money this season, and we're yet to be knocked out of the Champions League. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. We should have done this so much earlier. We should have progressed through, you know, two years back. You know, when we faced Nika, when we faced... The team last year, Lek, we should have beat all of them. We are an unseeded team. Sligo Rovers somehow progressed through as well. The teams we can possibly fake face are Celtic, Dynamo, Basel, Copenhagen or Elsenborg. And currently, I fear no one because we have beaten Olympiakos. We get the first leg at home and we will be playing Basel. We've been drawn against them three times in the possibility, you know, um... Two years back we were drawn against them. Last year we were drawn against them. This year we've been drawn against them. Past two seasons though we've never got the chance. This year we will get the chance. We get drawn Basel. And I guess I'll meet you guys back on the 20th of August for the Champions League playoffs. And this is incredible because if we lose here we get 1.77 million and we progress through to the group stages of the Champions League. If we lose this I'm pretty sure we go on and go into the Europa League. Um playoffs We're going to the Europa League group stages I'm going to check that quickly though last year who was knocked out of the playoffs it was no playoffs Copenhagen like we're going to Copenhagen we'll see what happened to them so last year they got knocked out and they went into the Europa League group stages so no matter what we will be playing group stage football in the Europa League, in the European competition this year that's incredible that is incredible unbelievable so that means, guys, you will have a lot of live, com live comps this season. All I'll do is these two games against Basel will be key highlights. They will be, um, they will be key, key highlights. So we can put both of them in one leg. But when I face in the group stages, what we'll do is I'll live com one of the games in extended highlights. Every game will be in extended highlights. One game will be per episode. So until the Basel match, guys, peace out.